Hi, this is Dr. Lee from Interior Solutions for the Ankle. This is a back to school season. So I get a lot of pediatric cases and problems. So today, let's talk about into walking. Okay, before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We upload contents on a weekly basis, so you'll be able to learn a lot when it comes to frontal health and problems. So stay tuned and thank you very much. Okay, before we go any further, let's talk about what into walking is. So into walking is when your feet are pointing inward and you walk here like this. This is quite common for people who are developing such as children. And this can be a problem for some children because this can also hinder their walking ability. This can also prob cause problems in other areas such as there's a knees and more no noticeably on their low backs and the hip area. So every September or October-ish when the school starts, I get a big fluctuation of pediatric or children with into walking or out to walking problem. So parents usually come to my office and they ask me, can you please check my child's foot? He or she's walking inside or outside. Notice how they say the foot, but please understand the into walking is actually more than just a foot problem. In fact, into walking is a problem of combination of biomechanical chain coming from the foot all the way to your low back and to your hip. Okay, so I got my favorite friends right here. So I want to be able to let you know, in toe walking is not only of your toe pointing inward, but it is a biomechanical chain problem coming from all the way from your hip all the way down to your foot. So any of these bones right here can be rotated inward. In my clinical expertise, usually it's one or more of this bone right here rotating inward. It could be your hips, it could be your thigh bone called femur, or it could be your leg bone, or it could be your foot bone. So this is the reason why if your child is suffering from into walking, they also may be complaining for about their knee pains, or their low back pain, or their hip pain. Somewhere along this line, there is some kind of unnatural inward rotation of the bones right here or the muscles that are actually preventing the, your child to walk straight. So this is sort of what into walking essentially is. So this is really important that you understand. Into walking is not something just for your foot treatment is going to be sufficient. You have to look at the entire thing in a treatment also has to be for entire body. Okay, so let's talk about treatment for the into walking. So one of the most common thing that I hear from the parents when their child comes to into walking is that, okay, so I know my child is into walking, so please give me an orthotics or custom for insoles and let's just get that thing over with. Well, not so fast. Like just like I have said, into walking is more than just your foot problem, but a combination of one or more areas of your foot, knees, or your thighs, or your low backs, or your leg. So the treatment has to be done accordingly. So what are the treatments for the into walking? Let's find out. Number one treatment, do nothing. What does that mean? Well, let me just explain a little more. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do anything, but what I'm trying to tell you is in some instances, if the into walking is mild, they can actually get better on its own. If the case is minor or mild, your foot doctor may not do anything, but that might be the treatment. Just simply monitoring and observing your child, making sure that the problem doesn't get worse and it kind of cracks by itself may be the best treatment after all. So not every case or not every child with into walking needs custom foot orthotics. And number two treatments for into walking, physical therapy. So notice how I said a lot of times that there's bone rotating inside, knee rotating inside, everything is just inside, inside. But you have to understand, all the muscles in your body are attached to where? To the bones. So sometimes muscular tightness or spasms of the muscle can also give you the into walking. So if you resolve some of those muscles to be more loosened and smooth, you can actually improve the into walking. This may have to be complemented or supplemented with other type of treatments, but physical therapy and the walking on the working on some of the muscles of the legs or thighs or the foot can definitely be a good option for it. A lot of people know that I'm a chiropractor and podiatrist. So 
I have also have seen very good results with somebody with into walking. Because of the internal walking is coming from some kind of a structural problem, especially with the bone alignment. And I know I have posted some of the videos previously, case studies. Uh, you'll be able to see that there, the improvements of internal walking is almost instantaneous with chiropractic treatment. So it's actually something that is going to be very safe and very conservative and very effective to treat the internal walking. Let's talk about this one, the custom for orthotics. So internal walking is usually happens with your foot kind of crooked inward here like this. So you are going to get a, a different kind of air biomechanics how your foot works. Kind of supplementing your foot with the custom foot orthotics made just for your foot so that you can function properly just like how I wear my glasses for my bad eyes or how I have braces for my teeth, same thing for the foot. That can be very, very effective solutions for your intel walking. If your child is young enough and then they're still developing in the early stage, um, things like bars or splint can be uh, something that can be very, very viable. This is for somebody who is a slightly more severe cases. If the interwalking is slightly severe and your child is not as old, you can get uh, things like Dennis Brown bars, you can get a splint to be able to get things to be molding the right way. Last but not least, surgery. Yes, you can, you can have a surgery for internal walking, but I want to be able to say that surgery should only be considered as a last resort and it should not be the first. Try to exhaust all the conservative options and all the natural options before you consider surgery. All right, so I said a lot of things about internal walking here today. The main key takeaway point is this. Internal walking is not just the problem of the foot, but it's actually a combination problems of the knees, or the legs or your hips or your low back area. More often than not, I see a lot of children with internal walking having problems in their tailbone areas and their hips or their knees. All this problem has to be taken a look at and have to be treated accordingly. I hope today's information was useful for you. If you have any questions, the email address is going to be right here. So please email us with questions and we'll be more than happy to help you out. All right, thank you very much for watching today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And thank you very much. And I'll speak to you guys next time. Be well.